In this video, we will introduce some of the applications under the Transmit main menu. APRSTX The APRSTX application can send messages on a selected frequency. This application allows for configuration of the APRS process. Click on APRSTX and in the displayed interface, source usually refers to the sender skull sign, which consists of six fields and can be set by selecting the desired letters or numbers one by one using the direction keys and 360 degree knob. Dest refers to the receiver skull sign, which also consists of six fields and you can set the desired letters or numbers. Regarding SSID, you can choose any number from 0 to 15. The most common SSID value in Portapack is 0. You can add the message content to the info field by clicking Set. The maximum number of characters that can be added is 30. At the bottom of the interface, you can see several options. This is the frequency, and you can set it to the main frequency you want to send. Generally, the frequencies in Europe and Africa are 144.8 MHz. In America, it is 144.39 MHz. And in East Asia, it is 144.64 MHz. The frequencies in other regions are different. You can also select your frequency step size through the 360 degree knob. The range of the intermediate frequency gain setting is from 0 to 47. The setting value of AMP is 0 or 14. It is worth noting that the color of the gain setting will change according to the setting of the total output power of the TX when the combined gain and AMP is from 0 to 17, it is white. From 18 to 38, it is yellow. From 39 to 47, it is orange. And from 48 to 61, it is red. When we complete all the settings and click Start, the messages will begin to be transmitted. Now, we will use another hacker FH4M to receive the information. We must ensure that the frequencies used by the two devices are the same. Click Start and you will be able to see the transmitted information on the receiving hack RH4M. BLETX the BLTX application can import a BL broadcast file. After being parsed by the application, this file will be transmitted via OTA. The BILTX application has two modes, single transmission mode and loop transmission mode. To transmit a data packet, a file must first exist. Click Open File to select the file you want to transmit. After loading is complete, the screen will display the current data packets to be sent. If the file contains multiple data packets, the screen will update the displayed information based on the data packets being transmitted. You can select the frequency to be transmitted. G is gain, ranging from 0 to 47. A is M, with a setting value of 0 or 14. Speed allows you to adjust the data transmission speed. You can choose numbers 1 to 5. Number 1 represents 16 milliseconds. Number 2 represents 32 milliseconds. Number 3 represents 48 milliseconds. Number 4 represents 100 milliseconds. And number 5 represents 200 milliseconds. Channel allows you to select the channel to be transmitted. Advertising PDU type provides a setting function that enables you to select different advertising types. This marked data has three modes, Ascend, Descend, and Random. Random allows you to randomly set the MAC address for each sent data packet. Save packet can save the current data packet list in the TX format to the file name you specify. 
Switch to RX will guide you to the BLERX application. After completing the settings, clicking the button next to loop will start the information transmission. Now, we are using the BARX of another HackerF H4M2 receive the information. Click the button and you will be able to see the transmitted information on the receiving HackerF H4M. You can observe that the number of received data packets on the BARX keeps increasing. OOC OOC is the simplest form of amplitude modulation and usually has a coding sequence. OOC is commonly used in remote garage and access control keys and typically operates at frequencies of 315 MHz or 433.92 MHz. Once you enter this application, type allows you to preset various device types such as 2260, those mil de cientos, 62, 1527, 526E, etc. CLK enables you to select the switching frequency of OOK. Frame sets the clock and frequency with the range from 30 microseconds to 36,000 microseconds. Symbols is the mode for sending new symbol information. Zero or one can change the OOK mode. The A in the next line represents the address, D represents data, and S represents synchronization. Waveform displays a partial view of the sent waveform. At the bottom of the display interface, there are frequency, frequency step, gain, and amplifier. After completing the settings, clicking start will initiate the information transmission. Now, we are using another HackerF H4M's protoview to receive the information. Of course, you must ensure that the frequencies of these two HackerF H4M devices are the same. Click the button and you will be able to see the transmitted information on the receiving HackerF H4M. RDSTX RDS stands for Radio Data System. It enables FM radio stations to transmit much more than just ordinary analog audio signals via radio waves. After entering the application, you can see that there are four tabs here. Name, Text, Time, and Audio. In the current version, only the functions of name and text have been implemented. Among all the tabs, Program Type and Program ID can be set. In Program Type, there are a total of 31 types that can be set and you can choose the one you want. Program ID is a four-digit hexadecimal number ranging from 000 to FFFF. TP is used to select the transmission of traffic program symbols. In the name label, if you select to check transmit PSN, the program service name will be sent. To allow you to edit the program service name, click set to allow you to edit the program service name with a maximum of 8 characters allowed. Of course, you can also decide whether to check stereo, music or traffic announcement. At the bottom of the screen are frequency, step size, gain and amp. Click start to start the transmission process. In the text tab, if you select to check transmit radio text, then the transmission function of radio text will be enabled. Clicking set allows you to input the text content with a maximum of 28 characters allowed. It should be noted that RDSTX mainly generates and transmits FM signals containing RD. Receiving and decoding RDS is a more complex process, so you will need additional software to handle FM demodulation and decoding of the RDS data stream. Soundboard the soundboard application will play and transmit any selected sound file.
from the WAV directory on the SD card when the start button is pressed. The sound files will be displayed on the screen. The soundboard application directly converts the locally stored WAV audio files into radio frequency signals for transmission without having to modulate them into standard broadcast formats such as FM or AM. Key allows the transmission carrier signal to be encoded with a CTCSS subaudio signal. If you enable this function, no audio signal will be output to the speaker. Below the screen, there are frequencies, step sizes, gains, etc. If you click Start, then Soundboard will send the signal at the set frequency. You can receive this audio using the Audio RX application under Receive in the Hacker FH4M. Now we will reduce the volume of Soundbird TX to avoid disturbing our listening to the sound from Audio RX. You should note that the frequencies of the two must be consistent. Increase the volume of Audio RX. Then click Start and we can receive the signal sent by Soundbird through Audio RX.